said here the living behind the wall walls, but I misunderstood it and I said that was too long for me. I got living behind walls. All right. Uh -huh. The walls would make this sermon too long, so adding the word the I just took that out. Is that all right? Amen. So the first thing I wanted to do is say I know is what is the definition of a wall? And I found a few definitions about a wall. It's something that divides, it closes, it confines, or it, it, and it, like I said, it ain't close. But you know what I found one that said that I saw was good? And I came across, it said it was a barrier which becomes a circumstance or an obstacle that prevents progress. And I saw that was pretty good. We're going somewhere here, so, so, so stay with me. This is what I focused on that circumstances or those obstacles that prevent progress, that prevents us from becoming or moving forward, keeping us stuck, tied up, held hodges, and always down. This is exactly where that old devil wants us. Kill, steal, and destroy our lives any way that he can. He's always luring us into a life of sin and pulling us down further and further if we allow him. It is just like that prodigal son. Y'all remember that story? Yes. We yes. too can find ourselves in a far country. Mm -hmm. We went further than we wanted to go and stayed longer than we wanted to stay and we question ourselves, how did we get here? Right. And how did I get behind this wall and how long must I stay? Mm -hmm. According to this definition, we all have lived behind walls. <laughs> Because all that sin become what? Short, Short of the glory of God. Yeah. But God in his yeah. mercy found us, yeah. those of us that are saved. Mm -hmm. He snatched us from the claws of Satan, rescued us, mm -hmm. and we praise God for all his goodness. Right. Yet, yeah. there are those that no longer live behind the wall, but they continue to make a whole lot of business. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's because that's the reason why Paul wrote, stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ had made us free. Be not what? Entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Don't think more highly than yourself than you ought to. All of us can fall. I said all of us can fall. I don't care what title you've got. I don't care who you think you are. Bishop. Apostle, yes. pastors, yes. all of us can fall. That's right. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 There are those who find themselves living behind walls through no fault of their own. It may have come about because someone may have abused them as a child. Some right. may have be, been betrayed by a loved one, mm -hmm. and they haven't gotten over that hurt and the pain. Mm -hmm. and they try to dull that pain through alcohol, drugs, sex, mm -hmm. and anything that would take away that pain. Mm -hmm. There are many other circumstances that will keep people living behind walls, but sin is the basis of it all, and people yeah. find themselves bound by Satan. Yeah. Many want to stop, they want to get out, but they can't. Mm -hmm. They find they cannot get out on their own, mm -hmm. and it's going to take the power of God to get them out. Yes. Yeah. To bring them out. But they are going to have to be taught and counseled God's prescribed way. That's the only way out. Right, right. You can go to all those steps all you want to, and they're good. Don't get me don't get me wrong. They're good, mm -hmm. but you're going to have to go God's prescribed way. Yeah. And one of those walls is resentment. Resentment is is, uh, is will keep us focused on the person or situation, causing negative feelings, preventing us from accepting God's promises of healing. According to James 1, 19 to 21, it said, "Understanding this, my beloved brothers, let every man be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to take offense, and get angry." Hear this right here, what he's saying. For a man's anger mm. does not yes. promote the righteousness of God. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Okay, I'm mad you yes, did it. Don't promote the, the righteousness wow. of God. Amen. Amen. And in a humble spirit, receive and welcome the word which you planted, the root, it contains the power to save our soul. It's going to take the power of God, like I said, to get you out of this thing. Amen. Another wall may uh, be fear. Fear causes doubt. Some feel fear of the uh, threat because of change, because it's something new. And when fear is present, the need to deny, ignore, and avoid reality increases. Their unrealistic perspective becomes greatly exaggerated. According to 1 John 4.18, there is no fear in love. But full-grown love turns fear out of doors and expels every trace of terror. 
For fear brings with it the thought of punishment. Grow up in the love of God and watch God kick fear out. Wow. Mm -hmm. All of it. God does not pass out fear or distribute fear. Instead, he speaks peace to our lives and our mm -hmm. hearts, not condemnation. He gives ability and a potential to gain victory. I know y'all hearing this, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know y'all looking at me like he talked a whole lot of talk. I want you to hear what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. He gives us a sound mind. He right. doesn't allow circumstances and Satan right. to rattle our minds. Yeah, exactly. Joyce Myers wrote, you are in a battle. You are not alone. All of God's people fight this same fight. You got to make up in your mind not to give up. And according to Colossians 6 and 12, set your mind on things above and keep it set. Yes, right. yes. Set your mind on things above and keep it set. There, then there is the wall of denial. This is attempting to survive the chaos by denying its existence and this false deceit and illusion. According to Jeremiah 17, 9 through 10, the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? I, the Lord, search the heart and examine the mind to reward a man according to conduct, or conduct according to what his deeds deserve. All right. We can we can deny there is something wrong by continuing to play parts that are not real to keep from being hurt. Wow. Then I, you know, I Say that again. Say that again. That, that was powerful. Yeah, yeah that's good. That Okay. <laughs> I'm going somewhere. We're big time here. Let me see. Yeah, we got some old people in here coming. We can deny that there is something wrong by continuing to play parts that are not real to keep from being hurt. And you know, in looking at this, I went old school. And I know some of y'all may not understand, uh, remember this. Some of my grandchildren are in here, nieces and stuff, but you may not remember this song. It was an old song that came out in 1965. Uh -oh. no. What you laughing at? Tammy says she don't know that. Yeah, she know it. Uh -huh. She heard me sing it. That man laughed, the cameraman laughed. 1965 by Smokey Robinson. You know him, don't you? Yeah, yeah you heard of him. And it said, there, uh, people say I'm a life of the party, right? Yeah, because yeah, I tell yeah, a joke or two. Although I might be laughing right. loud and hearty, uh -huh. inside I'm blue. Yes. Now yes. I know you want to yes. see yes. the chorus, yes. don't you? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he don't know it because he tried. Okay, I ain't singing the chorus. Yes. The next verse says, "Since you left me, if you see me with another girl, looking like I'm having fun, yes. although she may be cute, she's just a what?" Substitute. 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 Yeah, because you're the permanent one. <laughs> Playing that part, right? Yeah, yeah. That next part said, outside I'm masquerading. Uh -huh. Inside my hope is fading. Okay. I'm just a clown since you put me you're down. My smile is my makeup. I wear since my what? Breakup, Breakup with, with you. Take a good look at my face. Right. You see my smile. Mm -hmm. Looks out of place. If you look closer, yes. it's what easy, easy. to trace yeah. the tracks of my tears. Wow. Playing that part. Yes, sir. Playing a part. So you won't be so you won't get hurt. There's a lot of people that come to church. Right. They have that they have that Bible under the arm. Right. And they smile. And they play a part. They saying everything's okay. But deep down, they're hurting. That's why the, 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 we don't know that. But what, that's why the Bible tells us to continue to play for our, yes. pray for our brothers and sisters. Yes. We yes. pray for them because they're hurting. And let me say this since I'm here. We need to stop denying that something's wrong in our lives. Amen. And go to God and tell Amen. God that, Lord, I need help. Yes. It's me, Lord, standing Amen. in the need of prayer. Amen. And look here, let me tell you something. This is Minister Charles Dorsey Sr. telling you that I'm in standing in the need of prayer. Yeah. Amen. 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 And let me clarify that one more time. I said Minister Charles Dorsey Sr. The reason why I said that, because I don't want you going back, said the, the, the speaker said Bishop Charles Dorsey. <laughs> Y'all be on saying he, ooh, you done told the past, the, me, the mission done messed up. I ain't said nothing about the bitch. I don't know about the bitch. Right. Talking about me. 
Amen. Come on. Come on now. We ain't trying to do that. Because here's the thing. When blind Bartimaeus heard that Jesus was there, he went out there and he said, Son of David, have mercy upon me. And they tried to tell him to shut up. They tried to tell him to shut up. The more they told him to shut up, the more he called out, Jesus. Son of David, have mercy upon me. And that's what the people are trying to tell you, to be quiet. Look here, you're trying to get your thing. You're trying to get some help. Amen. You're trying to get yes, God yes, to help you. Yes, yes. Don't you worry about who's looking at you, because they need help too. Yes. They just ain't trying to admit it. Yeah, they do. Don't you look at nobody. Don't you look at me funny. Because right. I said I need some help. Right. I ain't scared to tell you I need some help. Pray for me, sister. Right. I said I'm Mr. Charles Dorsey. Remember me in your prayer. I ain't scared to tell you to tell you to pray for me. Because see, when you're in your room by yourself at night, and that thing hits you, you shouldn't be afraid to say, Lord, help me. And I hope Brother Charles Dorsey pray praying for you. What's your right. first name? Deborah. Deborah, I'm praying for you, Deborah, tonight. Amen. The rest of scared. I'm yes. praying for you, Deborah. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Proud, scared, talking about I'm scared. Pastor say, Pastor, don't pray for me, I'm a pastor. You the very one needs to be praying for. And in the need of prayer. Yes. And David was found living behind the wall. Well. He was the king. Oh, wow. So the pastor need prayer for yes, too. Sir. Now the king yes, need prayer for you. know yes, the pastor sir. need prayer for. Yes, yes, yes. He yes. found himself spiritually crippled right. until the prophet Nathan came to him and told him, "You the man. Mm -hmm. You the man." <laughs> Many times we go to church, the preacher is telling you that you the man, right. telling you CJ, you the man, uh -huh. telling you sweetheart that you the woman, uh -huh. and we still standing up there saying, "Amen." Instead of saying I'm the man, it's still instead of saying Lord, I need I'll get you right and coming to that altar and getting right yeah, with God. Let yeah. me tell you something. That's why we keep on hurting. That's right, man. That's, That's right. why we keep on saying Lord, I need help. Yeah. When you get by yourself and you say I need help and you crying out to God, yes, and yes, God is yes. saying all you got to do is do like the man at the pool mm -hmm. and say yes, yes. I want to yes. get in the pool. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. I want to get in the pool. Yeah, yes. Then God can help. Yeah. You gotta yeah. have that want to yeah. spirit. Right, right, right. All right, man. Found that he was behind that wall because of unconfessed sins. He didn't want to confess those sins, mm -hmm. but he's spiritually crippled. Until Nathan came to him and told him he was the man. He wrote his confession in Psalms 51. He expressed his deep sorrow and indicated to God, I acknowledge my sin, and against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in their sight. And David asked to be put back right in their relationship. David also asked God to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. And he said, Lord, I messed up. Take from me behind these walls that is keeping us from progress. And in Psalms 51 and 18, he said, Lord, rebuild the walls. Yeah, yeah. Rebuild yeah. the walls. The wall that would protect us. The wall that would pr prosper us. The wall that would make us strong again. Strengthen the inner man. Show us how to reign in this life. Help us to be victorious, Lord. And if we're going to live behind walls, let it be the walls that the Lord builds. Amen. Y'all quiet when it's amen. amen. Oh, you good. Amen. I'll say amen. Yeah. amen. Yeah. 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 I shout myself. Yes. <laughs> Some may think they have been living behind walls of resentment, walls of denial, walls of fear, the wall of unconfessed sin for so long, it doesn't seem possible they can get out, or it's too late. But God loves you. And according to Romans 5 and 20, but where sin abounds, grace is what? Much more abounds. Much more. It was said, it was grace that called the Creator to create the creature that put the crown of thorns on his head. It was grace that prompted the creator to create the creature that whipped his back and pulled the flesh from his body. It was grace that inspired the creator to create the creature that pierced his side. It was grace that motivated the creator to create the creature that nailed his hand to a cross. Grace allowed this and much more for you. This is why Christ came and Jesus said the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel of the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken heart, to preach deliverance yes, yes. to the captives, and set the liberty them yes. that are bruised. Yes. 
Yes. Those that are bruised, that's yes, been sir. beaten up by life. Yes. And the scars and the welts right. are still evident. Yes. And he said, the priest took something with you. And Lord, he said, God, God will give you healing and the deliverance. But again, I said before, we have to have the want to heart. And again, Jesus asked that paralytic man, do you want to be healed? Right. Do you, and are you ready to come from behind that wall? Even then, we have struggles in our lives. Yes, we do. Even then, we say, I don't want to be healed because I like it here. <laughs> I've been here so long, I'm comfortable here. And how long do you want to stay there? Do you want to be moved? Do you want to be moved? But then Jesus said, do you want to be made whole? And when Jesus said, do you want to be made whole? He's not only talking about the healing of the physical man. He's talking about the spiritual yes, part. Yes, yes, He's yes. talking about the emotional part. Yes. He's talking about yes. the psychological part. Yes. He's talking about the intellectual part. Yes. He's talking about the whole man. Yes. He's talking about, see, Jesus ain't going to have do nothing. Yes. Right. He's talking about the whole right. man. Yes. He's doing the whole man. Yes, yes. And yes. when the invalid man said yes to Jesus, he immediately healed him. God loves you. And you are his child, and you are somebody. That's why Peter said, you are a chosen generation. Mm -hmm. yeah. You are part of a royal priesthood and a part of a holy nation. You are certainly someone special. That you should show forth the praise of him who today, I'm talking about right now, yeah. this moment had called you out of darkness. What yeah. darkness are you talking about, preacher? I'm talking about the walls that you're up right. yeah. into a marvelous light so you can start shouting right now. You yeah. Jericho walls. Amen. 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 Go Jericho walls Amen. and just pay Amen. down. Amen. You can claim your victory. You're free. Come out unto this marvelous light. And so in the name of Jesus, we bind that spirit of bondage. We bind that thing that will prevent us from progressing. The Bible says that whom the Son has set free. Hey! Free and free. Hey! Yeah. I want y'all to say that when whom the Son has set, set free, free is, is free. free. Indeed. Why are you still behind that wall then? Wow. Yeah. wow. Whom the Son has yeah. set free, free. Yeah. is free indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Therefore, if I have, I have not, so we call those things that be not as though they were. Yeah. Therefore, we have the authority to declare in the name of Jesus. You no longer live behind walls. You are free. free. You're no longer bound. Right. No more chains are holy. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. You're Hallelujah. free. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you, Lord, this afternoon for your love, kind of your grace, and your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Yes to bring this message to your people, Lord. We pray, Father God, that breakthroughs will come to our lives and through our lives behind this message. You said in your word, Lord, that all we have to do is have a one-two heart and that we receive what your word has taught us. So bless those that are here and heard your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.